Successive Approximation Register ADC, or SAR ADC, is a type of analog to digital converter that uses a binary search algorithm to digitize a signal. When an analog input is given, the ADC compares it to a reference in the middle and determines the most significant bit of the output. The ADC then compares the input to a new reference located in the middle of the remaining range and determines the next bit. This way, the SAR ADC successively produces the digital output one bit at a time. A basic SAR ADC is made of a track and hole circuit that samples the analog input, a digital to analog converter producing the reference, and a comparator that compares these two, and finally, a digital finite state machine that performs the successive approximation and produces the final digital output. In this video, I'm going to show you how to model this SAR ADC in a top-down fashion. Basically, once you model these analog components using the X model primitives, you can combine them with the digital models describing the finite state machine and run efficient simulation all in system Verilog. Glister is a tool that lets you build top-down analog models by simply drawing schematics with the X model primitive symbol. From these schematic models, you can generate netlists in System Verilog and run X model simulations. In fact, the models I'm going to show are actually the solution to the exercises included in one of our tutorials named Glister underscore basic. The first top-down model of the SAR ADC focuses on describing the functionality of each component. For example, the SAR ADC model is made of an analog front end that samples the input and computes its difference with the reference, a comparator that determines the polarity of this difference, and a digital finite state machine performing the successive approximation. Let's take a look at the model for this analog front end first. All the symbols you see on this schematic are X model primitive symbols. For instance, this track and hole circuit is modeled using a switch primitive and a capacitor primitive, both of which are circuit primitives of X model. The reference voltage is generated by a DAC primitive, which models an ideal D to A converter. This is an add primitive of X model, and with the scale factors equal to minus one and one respectively, it is computing the difference between the sample input and the DAC reference. Once the analog front end produces the error signal, this compare primitive models a comparator that detects whether the error is positive or negative. Its digital output is then fed into a finite state machine, which adjusts the input to the DAC for the successive approximation and collect all the results to produce the final digitized output. This finite state machine is a full digital logic and can be described in pure Verilog. In this example, when the external clock goes low and the track and hole circuit samples a new analog input, the logic toggles an internal clock total of seven times. At the first cycle, the logic resets the state of the successive approximation register. And for the following six cycles, the logic performs the binary search and collects the comparator output as each bit of the digitized output. Finally, when the external clock goes high, the logic produces the final digitized output. Here's a test spin schematic to simulate this SAR ADC model. It triggers the ADC at 50 MHz and feeds a 100 kHz 2.5 volt sinusoid into its input. This dump primitive instructs X model to record the simulated waveforms into a file. To run the X model simulation with this test bench, open the X model test bench editor by selecting the Open Test Bench Editor menu or just clicking this icon. Then click this Generate Netlist icon to generate the system Verilog netlist. And to view the netlist, click this icon with a magnifying glass. You can see that the system Verilog model for the test bench, the ADC, 
the analog front end, and the digital logic are all properly netlisted. One of the key features of Glister is that it can auto detect the type of each signal, whether it's digital or analog, or whether it's wire or X bit. Glister also knows how to insert a connector when it sees a signal connected to a port with a different type. Now, you can launch the simulation by choosing the whole simulator and clicking this play button. Once the simulation is done, open the waveform viewer by clicking this wave button. The simulated waveforms show that as the input changes between 0 and 5 volt, the ADC produces the digital output ranging from 0 to 63 as expected. And from the output of the analog front end, you can also observe the progression of the successive approximation at each cycle. The next SAR ADC model describes the analog front end in more detail. That is, the analog front end is described as a charge redistribution DAC, which performs all the actions of sampling, D to A conversion, and comparison in one circuit. It is made of a set of capacitors that switch either to an external input, to an internal reference, or to a ground. As X model is the only solution that can perform true circuit simulation in system Verilog, it is straightforward to model this charge redistribution DAC using its circuit primitive, such as the switch primitive and capacitor primitive. Now let's run the simulation using the same test bench as before. First, by netlisting the model, we confirm that the analog front end is now described with a set of capacitor and switches. After running the simulation, We can see that this SAR ADC model also produces the expected digital output following the sinusoidal analog input. And the charge redistribution DAC is capable of successively approximating the input voltage by switching the capacitors in and out. In summary, X model provides a rich set of primitives that can model various analog circuits, and these analog models can be all simulated in system Verilog along with the digital models. And Glister offers an intuitive GUI environment to compose these models in schematic forms. To learn more, please visit our website at www.scientificanalog.com. Thank you.